is the military capacity keeping pace with that commitment of the foreign uh, affairs establishment in Washington, if I can put it that way? Yeah, well, I mean, I think that is the $64,000 question, as we used to say when I was a kid, right? You know, yeah. is the United States uh, pursuing a smart strategy for dealing with China, for dealing with Russia? Uh, is it spending its money wisely? Uh, you know, is it in a good position to, f to fight a war uh, should one break out? I mean, I think that if you look at what's happening in Ukraine, it's quite clear that the United States made a number of mistakes in terms of managing the defense establishment uh, since the end of the Cold War. For example, it's now quite clear from the Russia-Ukraine war that you want to have a powerful industrial base that can pump out lots of uh, artillery and lots of artillery rounds and so forth and so on. And one of the principal reasons that the Russians are in very good shape in the Russia-Ukraine war is because the Russians have significant manufacturing capability when it comes to weaponry, and they can pump out huge numbers of artillery tubes and tanks and so forth and so on. The Ukrainians, of course, don't have that, but the West, and here we're talking mainly about the United States, doesn't have that capability either we do not have the ability to produce large numbers of artillery tubes. We're talking about reestablishing that capability, but we don't have it. So the United States has a defense establishment, a military establishment uh, that is now learning lessons in Ukraine. Drones is another example. I mean, I don't think we fully appreciated just how important drones are for waging modern warfare. And we're moving quickly to try to rectify that problem. But we have a number of shortcomings that have to be fixed uh, if we're going to contain China in smart ways. And I'm sure the Australians who are watching the war in Ukraine are, you know, deriving similar lessons and thinking about how to fashion their military forces moving forward. And furthermore, how the United States and Australia can work together to deal with specific scenarios. Um, that might uh, occur in the future. Uh, so I, I don't want to be Panglossian here and talking about where the United States is today. Uh, I think the United States, uh, because we're coming out of the unipolar moment where we didn't worry about great power war, uh, has a military that's got some problems. Uh, but I think those problems will be fixed. Uh, and I think the United States will, in the end, do a fine job. Uh, of containing giant, uh, containing China moving forward.